and welcome to our live coverage of the latest mission from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. Emil Robinson Smith will be providing our commentary for the duration of this coverage. We are broadcasting, as we always do, from the Space Flight Now News Bureau here at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. SpaceX Launch Director, go launch. And there's that final go for launch call. We are now less than 30 seconds away from SpaceX's 36th Starlink mission of the year, Starlink 6 59. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. And here we go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one engine ignition and lift off lift off of the falcon 9 rocket now 15 seconds into flight and a beautiful ascent of the falcon 9 rocket lifting high above florida's space coast Getting some great views from our tracking team here. This view from our tracking camera here at the press site. Falcon 9 now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Coming up on max Q, one of greatest aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle. There's the call out for max Q. Coming up on a few different events in fairly rapid succession here. Well, first stage main engine cutoff at about T plus two minutes and 26 seconds. That'll be followed by stage separation four seconds after that. Six seconds after that will be the second stage engine ignition and then fairing deployment at about two minutes, 56 seconds. This view from Chuck Briggs and now Pete Karstens. Coming up on two minutes into flight. So far, all appears to be nominal with this Falcon 9 mission. Here, call out for MVAC chill down there, thermally conditioning that Merlin vacuum engine and preparing it for its ignition following stage separation. And there you see Miko. Still a great view of the Falcon 9 rocket with the sun hitting it. Stage separation and second stage engine condition. And it looks like we're going to get a really nice jellyfish effect here. Look at that. Coming upon bearing deployment. There go the payload fairings. And of course, the Falcon 9 flying high enough that it's still able to reflect the setting sun here. And so we're getting a really nice jellyfish effect, which is essentially what you're seeing here on your screen, the setting sun hitting the plume of the Falcon 9, both first and second stage, creating that almost aura around it. And those bursts you're seeing and the big box on your screen, those are from the Falcon 9 first stage. It's the cold gas thrusters. Helping to adjust the attitude of the Falcon 9 first stage booster. 
should continue to get some great tracking shots through a lot of this process tonight. The lighting conditions are basically exactly what you would hope for on a night like tonight at this time of day with this few clouds. In real time, we're just a few seconds away from the start of that landing burn beginning. The time you want to look for right now is the SpaceX clock at the bottom of your screen. It should start at about T plus 7 minutes and 59 seconds. See that burn starting right on cue? Views from the drone ship should be coming up momentarily on the right-hand side of your screen. And for a 21st record-breaking time, Booster 1062 is down on the drone ship. All right, we're ready to show you this launch replay. This is from a cruise ship in the Atlantic Ocean, a little bit south. We're taking a look. The video picks up just after stage separation. You can see there from this vantage point the distance between when the, uh, Miko happens and when the Merlin vacuum engine ignites. The beginning of its coast phase here, or uh, the start of the second stage engine burn, I should say. Again, this view out in the uh, Atlantic Ocean from the vantage point of a cruise ship here.